These are dancing empty structures. They have no body parts, but they can dance. They have no legs, but they walk. They have no heads, no faces, but they can talk. Things that you don't understand, you want to stay away from it. They have a lot of weight, but they can walk on water. There is absolutely no one controlling the structures. Yes. No one. And you think you have seen it all? Stay with me as I bring you the darkest magic practices that you think only exist in fiction movies. Throughout history, there have been powerful mysteries that remain hidden in the shadows. In West Africa, particularly among the Yoruba people in Benin and Nigeria, one mystery stands out. The enigmatic figure known as Zhang Beto, the guardian of the night. Both feared and respected, <laughs> Zhang Beto represents the ancient balance between darkness and light, tradition and magic, faith and fear. But what lies within these mysterious hay-covered beings? And how do they harness their supposed powers? Zhang Beto's role as a guardian of the night is intertwined with what some call dark magic. However, this magic is not to harm, it is to protect. The Zangbeto dancers are believed to be possessed by spirits who roam at night, shielding the village from evil forces and mischievous entities. The mystery lies not only in the purpose of Zangbeto, but also in the mesmerizing dance itself, a highly intricate, almost hypnotic performance that evokes both fear and awe. Zhang Beto, strange, colorful, moving figures that appear during special ceremonies, gatherings and festivals. But who or what are they?
To the uninitiated, Zangbeto may look like simple animated costumes or dancers. However, to the people of Benin, Nigeria, and Togo, they represent something much more. Zangbeto are believed to be spiritual beings or ancient night watchers, guarding the village and warding off negative forces. <laughs> These Zangbetos are towering figures made from raffia, decorated with vibrant colors and covered from head to toe with no visible human features. Many believe that there's no one inside. They say it's the spirit of Zangbeto itself moving. The figures twirl, jump and dance, captivating everyone watching. According to local tradition, Zangbeto represents the unseen spirit of the night. Some people believe Zangbetos have special powers, such as the ability to detect evil, summon protection, and even heal. In Yoruba communities, Zangbeto is both a spiritual figure and a community safeguard. It is said that the spirit within the Zangbeto reveals itself to protect villagers, uphold justice, and even bring blessings. The origins of this figure are believed to date back hundreds of years. Now the Zangbeto is more than just a cultural symbol. In Yoruba tradition, it has actual authority. The Zangbeto societies are recognized and hold unique roles within the community, acting as a kind of moral compass. They are even involved in village governance and can issue punishments or blessings. The Zangbeto is part of the Yoruba religious belief system and plays an essential role in maintaining law and order. At night, when Zangbeto is believed to roam, it instills a sense of security among the people. It's thought that anyone with bad intentions, criminals or troublemakers will face the wrath of the Zangbeto. But what makes these figures so powerful? And how are they believed to operate? And so, Zangbeto remains part mystery, part protector a guardian of the night in a world where magic and belief walk hand in hand. As long as the drums continue to beat, and as long as the spirits are called upon, Zangbeto will watch over its people, embodying the delicate balance between light and dark. Subscribe to Online Community KE for more African stories.